Right, as it's getting up to the forest, let us watch the one and only video. The raid that changed Final Fantasy XIV history. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, how many of you in here that used to play the old FF were incredibly hyped when they announced Final Fantasy XIV? What if you could save it? Huh? An almost 20 minute long marathon requiring precise execution, memorization of complex multi-layered mechanics, and excellent rotational gameplay and team play throughout the- So basically, this would be really easy for me because I've never died and I'm that good at this game, so. See, I didn't realize they'd released some like this. I thought these early ones existed very early on. Um, this is one of the most cryptic and unintuitive mechanics I've seen in a long time. Was it that difficult? Bro, he's got the drip. Look at look at the rings, the watch, the bracelet. Holy! He's coming in like that? Following in the footsteps of massive content creators like Asmongold. Damn! The launch was insanely successful, finally. I bet people were so fucking hyped for the new Ultimate. I bet they were so hyped. Unreleased encounter from a never seen before phase. There was no way this could have been spoofed in current Final Fantasy XIV, and there was no explanation for how anyone had got hold of this screenshot. Data mining absolutely happens in FF14, and that information gets circulated fairly publicly. Price Wait, so how the price. fuck? How the hell did they get a fucking picture like this then? From what looked like live gameplay with enemy models and everything seemingly functioning. The exact same bridge you watched Harshafont die on all those years ago. Two Knights of the Heavens Ward stand before you, Sir Adelphal and Sir Grino. You're going to have to take them both on at once. They start right, okay. The of simple yet heavy hitting attacks. Coles, Bro's like doing a guide the at the same time. Too close to them, they tether to you and suck your life points no. right out of you. No. Once eight black with a third cast a knight, Harshafant would run to your defense. Yo! A spear comes flying across the arena to your group, and he stops it in his tracks with his shield. Shockwaves pulse, and as you deal with the simple mechanics of baiting cleaves, Dropping puddles. Bro, this is down the box. this is such a cool idea behind like how a story can change or at least turning the whole situation into a story raid. That is such a that's really fucking cool. So he died anyway. An hour since the servers came up, the first groups were watching Harshafont four and pushing the caster knight to sub thirty percent, which was a requirement to beat his enrage. Otterhouse and Kryle both led the charge, seeing transition with enough players alive and watching the arena change to King Thor, Oh shit! Marking the start of phase two. I will. Oh my god! Pascal's uh. mercy conceived. This was shocking. There was a checkpoint in the encounter after you successfully landed your first attack I on Thordon, so you didn't have to do the first phase again for the remainder of the two hour lockout. This had never happened what? before in an ultimate encounter. Outcry erupted on message boards and in Twitch chats as the red. <laughs> red, no way! Oh my, I can't believe the fires are checked, but the game is ruined, my life is ruined, and the world is ruined. <laughs> Bro, why? Why is it freaking this such an overreaction? Holy shit! Why would anyone be out like that? Two cents on the topic, missing the moment bro, the boss became but this, this, this is what I mean. It's it's um that type of stuff comes from people that are so like their whole life revolves around the game, right? It just revolves around the game, and they can't separate their emotions and themselves from the game. So it, they end up, you know, having these out weird outbursts. <laughs> trio eight players alive but the shit looks nuts but ultima looks nuts man three of the heavens ward yeah a hundred percent i met so many people out there in a straight line rendering most of the it normally it's normally with so mmos as well that it's that it's happened within those two small safe spots and growing red aoe's appear all over bro there is so much going on if a tower was missed 
it was a wipe. If a blue AoE was too close to the group, it was a wipe. If a tank misplaced their tether, it was probably a wipe. This mechanic was intensely punishing, but groups pushed through. After this, they got a brief respite, aside from the tank who just got hit in the face a few more times, followed by the cast of a mechanic- Bro, look at that, look at that cleave. For most of the racing teams. Look at that huge Sanctity cleave. The, the ability is amazing. Was essentially two trios in one. 1,600 pulls, what? also did damage based on proximity, so the one group would need to be away from the knight, with the two group being behind his initial spot. This seems super doable, until you factor in the fact that the arena at the time looked like this. Winnable? Or you could just do this. Holy shit, Valor. No, focus, 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 focus. <laughs> Once you make it through this mechanic, at the what time the, the fuck, fuck did I just see, man? Was still being marked, people. I gotta ask a fucking question. Is this still like this? This looks ridiculously difficult. People need to set up roughly opposite one another on the outside of the arena, and then run a half. After this, round. after the video, we're gonna go one shot it. Drop on top of them. There was a chance to need. I to think. I think I'm shocked. I think to have players swap spots. I think I'm shocked so much because I've not seen any. I've not seen a single ultimate. I've not reacted to one. I've not seen it. I've not seen how they play. I've not seen any. So all of this I'm seeing right now is the first time I've ever looked at. Any ultimate. There were so many various stage. I feel like late. I'm not gonna fucking lie. This type of pug it like if you tried to pug this shit in WoW, you wouldn't you wouldn't even down it. You wouldn't down it. Pugs in I, that's really impressive. The stages of anyone that plays WoW can assure you that pugging on WoW is it's just It is it is that motion. I just three people will be marked with a one, two with a two, and three with a three. This number dictates the order in which you're going to drop towers for other members of the raid to take. You can't take your own tower, you can't take two towers, and there are heavy stacks going off at the same time that require around five people in them. So putting people in the exact right places at the exact right times consistently was a requirement. Once you take a tower, a clone will drop in place of it and will shoot a- Oh, all that's playing Ninja. I'm sure he plays Black Mage now, right? Person but just slow enough that the chaos is controlled. There's a decent yeah, is it? Is it? Is it? I don't know if I believe that. Were quickly able to optimize their damage and play. Instead, players have to adjust to these- Oh, look at that. One, two, three. To stop them from going boo. After this, Nidstinian clones drop to be baited, and one of the four at random will get a tank buster tether instead. Are the DPS checks easier nowadays? Is it because it get or is it, or is this like supremely scaled? So it's so still as difficult as it was. The group could never learn to have this. Luckily, by this point. So there's another phase. The I. The group themselves were not streaming their prog. Bro. The footage they had shown, they were miles ahead of the competition. A previously unseen phase, and no less, what looked to be an enrage of that phase. How far ahead I can imagine. I can imagine how fucking hard this we was didn't have live. To wait, long to find out. wait, does this character actually look like Sasuke? That's nuts. Bro, I wish I was there to watch this, man. Like, it kind of gives me goosebumps, like, even now. As the Dragon Song War progress gauge ticks up following Astinian's defeat, the arena shifts to the final steps of faith. The scene of the last confrontation with Nidhogg at the end of the original main scenario quest. I will Alpha one day want to try this. the south of the arena to assist his friend Astinian, who is bound and broken between the eyes of Nidhogg. He begs us to finish him, and in response, the ghost of Harshafant blesses us with the soul of friendship buff. At the same time, Alphano pulses the soul of devotion from around him. The Yo! Surging with power, and the phase begins. These two buffs are a requirement to be able to deal damage to the eyes. Each buff corresponds to one of the eyes, and possessing the buff means that you can hit them. Well, this yeah, the, the person who made this video is like, it's fucking glorious. Road, why is it that there are two separate buffs obtained in two separate ways? Thanks to the puzzle elements that ultimates have traditionally introduced, it was definitely within the realm of possibility that the correct play was to split the buffs to avoid some unseen failure state later. 
It's so just, it's kind of blowing my mind. Dive. I'm going to be honest. This with happens you. four times in total. At the like difference, dives overall. like so at the difference between this and say Mythic raiding on WoW, it just blows my mind at how dip. Like obviously the purpose of it is the same: learn the mechanics, kill the boss. But like how different you clearly have to play between the two games is crazy. Happen to be I mean, until I try it, I won't both know. Going but... to cast the heavy hitting raid wides and taking two of them at once was yeah. very close Fucking to unsurvivable. Ridiculous the ice phase was deceptive because the TPS Twitter reared its head. Oh, posting no. what this now? Clip without context. Bro, why? Why are thoughts per second every time, bro? They're posting that just... they had clearly gotten past eyes and seen something new, and soon enough, Cryo would become the first stream group to see exactly what had been hidden from this clip. They're just like, yeah, fuck this you. Here's a teaser. From good to incredible. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> What is going on? But look at all of us as chat, man. Okay. <laughs> That's right. When you successfully defeat Phase 4 and play out the full Dragon Song War the way it happened, the clock rolls back and you find yourself back at the start of the fight. The exact moment that Harshafon dies protecting you at the end of Phase 1. You must play out events again. Yeah, but he dies anyway! Just the way they happened the first time. Watching your friend fall, defeating Sir Charibur and phasing back into Thorden. It was a time loop. This was mind-blowing. In the second loop, everything was the exact same as the first. Wait, 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 wait. Was the puzzle here figuring out some... I don't know, this is, might be a long shot. Is, it, is this something in one of the phases that triggers an alternate thing? Yeah, that triggers something else for you to take the right way through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, if you didn't figure out what it was that was triggering the... Ah! Oh, that is crazy! Mechanics, nothing. With misaligned cooldowns, well, I mean, crushingly hard. Realistically, the biggest change would be keeping Hodgefront alive, so... I feel like that would have been, like... Maybe you didn't think it at the time, but I feel like that would have been the most straightforward answer. Meet the DP because in my yeah. eyes, when I look at that Hodgefront phase, is he a chained up? How the hell do you even keep the dude alive? Miserably. There are only two gauges. So you need to complete it once in its entirety to get your third gauge. And then when you go back to the starting point, you have to then use your limit break for something. Little quirk or point of interest by a few groups so far, and even in Twitch chats. But in these theories... Bro, how long did that even take? ...had to be down cleanly without the use of limit break as a crutch. On the rare pull that a group managed to get far enough to test... They did yeah, so that, one ugh. by one. Melee LB could kill the boss fast enough to free up the group from the mini arena, potentially, allowing them to help Harshafon. But it failed. It did not release you from the jail. Healer LB could be used to revive him after he fell in battle, right? Surely Tank LB would protect him from the damage, right? Okay, so it's not Tank LB. There had LB. to be more to it. Back and forth, the viewers went between streams, waiting for another tantalizing rewind pull to test a new theory. Kryl tested the heal LB and found that it did not res Harshafon, rendering that option a complete... Well, his body battle. disappears. Piranha's Tivoli tested the tank LB, waiting until he was targetable in the hopes of reducing his incoming damage for as long as possible. He was actually targetable by Limit Break the entire time. You would remove the debuff on him that prevented him from being healed. This would mean that he had both the damage mitigation for the entire phase from tank LB, and he was able to be healed by the healers and the damage on him from the spear became much, much more manageable. So you Now the game had changed. Wait, so, you, so you've got to keep him alive while you down this dude, while you kill this guy. 
Hodgman has to be alive when this dude goes down. Surely. Now you Surely. We saved him, boys! Upon saving him, the timeline splits. <laughs> The Dragon Song War Gauge resets back to zero, and you're thrown into an entirely new setting. Things have gone so very wrong. King Thordon is more powerful than ever, having obtained power over the dragons, and now he brings his full force to bear against you. Now we had to see the consequences of our actions. We had to see Wait, how so we'd pay for saving Horshafon leads to worse things. What? Nah. Rewriting history. I'm gonna be totally fucking honest. I've never seen something with so many phases in my life. <laughs> There's so many phases. Bro, how long wait, would a full wait, fight be? You cop twisters. Yeah, we're not even done. You cop twisters are back, except this time they've decided to mess. Five years ago, Bro, my fingers would be friends, aching. Completely worthless. My brain would be melted as well. Along one side of the room. Let the blue guy stand alone in his blue guy corner. Blue guy Activate corner. Their dives, leaving space for components. This guy's playing on controller. By this stage, around ten minutes into the encounter, groups have become more accustomed. This to guy's playing on controller. Of most of the mechanics and the fact that role-based responsibilities had, for the most part, been thrown. Look how fast these dudes are! Fuck! Look how fast he's clicking his shit! Without too much struggle, this mechanic also fell. One mildly scary Bro, that's impressive. Leader, death of the heavens. Bro, having to track six fucking spellcasting bars. Oh. Before being presented with oh, yeah, that's a good question, actually. So, if you make it through, obviously, you're going to go through the full first timeline. You come back round, you save Hodgefon, you then go into the Thorden phase. Does it checkpoint again in this particular Thorden phase? No, so if you wipe here, you have to go through the whole fight again. Back occurs. And the is this even the last good. phase? Is this, this is literally the mechanic from phase one, but with two lookaways added on top and the requirement to have yeah, I didn't, I did not think the spots that you left the white puddles. So I didn't think cleanse. it would be. After all of this, the but I'm gonna say, whoever's the mastermind behind each of these raid teams, right? Each of these eight teams, whoever's coming up with the fucking uh, tactics, the strategies, bro needs to be given a Nobel Prize. Because this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, straight up. The give the man a lordship. Has... What? To the hardest phase in DSR to Has Soga and, and Nidhogg. Slog. But before I get into why exactly upon Ishgard at his vengeful brother's side... Thanks to our saving. Of Harshafon and our sparing of Thordon, this is what had happened. Both Nidhogg and Hrisvelga bring their full force to bear against us, cornering your party between the two of them at the final steps of faith. The first mechanic is Worm's Breath. Which tethers each of the bro. non with either an ice tether or a fire tether. Bro, bro, bro. Imagine, imagine if this would actually happen. Imagine if this was the actual timeline. Bro, the, the game would have. That'd have been nuts. That'd have been fucking nuts. Surely you're, ju you're just, at this point, because of how many attempts you're taking, you're just getting stressed out with each other. I feel like that's what it would, at, at the point. Iterating to reach I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I could not do it. I could not do it. I couldn't do it. Neverland had done it. They'd cleared. Well, first had been claimed. Until this point, the entire group had been quiet on social media, trading flamboyant shows of how far ahead they were for focus on their own game. And it had absolutely paid off. At this point, no stream. How fucking far in front must these guys be? Oh, I'm getting goosebumps, man. I'm getting goosebumps. What the fuck is going on? It looks sick!
No Hit were the first group to see that transition live on stream. Followed shortly Bro. by Brial. Thornton absorbs the. How far were Neverland in front of everyone else to have done it? This is the product of. Look at that boss model! And you need to make it right. His transition goes off with an insanely hard hitting raid. Oh, okay. Bro, at this moment, at this moment, I'd be like this. I was there! I was there! I would love to see the final pull of this. Where they do it all the way through. But I think I'd cry. I think I would legit cry. So, Cryo came second. Bro, the level of improvement you would feel as a- I just don't know, I feel like you'd just be fucking ascend to a different level doing this fight. Like, you would just ascend to a different fucking being. That video was fucking awesome. Holy shit! Holy shit, bro.